Hi everyone, my name is Claire Curry, Science Librarian here at the University of Oklahoma. In video 9, we're going to be continuing our series, Options for Remote STEM Research, by searching for spatial data that we can't find in some of the common data sources. So if none of the data sources listed at guides.ou.edu slash geography have what you need, let's start with some strategies to continue searching. First, what I like to do is go to the search engine of my choice and put in the topic as well as GIS data. Spatial data sometimes gets what you need, but I find GIS data is more likely to take you to an actual data source. You can also search within a domain, and again, using the word GIS instead of spatial is often going to get you directly to data sources. You can also change your search scale, so if you're looking for a local data set, a lot of times you can find it as a subset of something broader, for example, national instead of a state data set, or a world data set instead of a national data set. You can also ask us for help. We can help you find specialized data repositories. If you've found a data set that it costs money to access, we do have the Data Acquisition and Transmission Award. This link, libraries.ou.edu slash datagrant, takes you to the application, and all OU Norman affiliated faculty, staff, and students are eligible to apply. We have a maximum of $5,000 per academic year, and we prefer data sets that can be purchased on a one-time instead of subscription basis. Regardless, go ahead and fill out the form and we'll see what we can do. If the data set doesn't exist, you may be able to expand an existing data set, or you may have to make your own data set completely. When you need help with this, please feel free to contact me or our digital scholarship specialists on help with making these files. If you need to add data from a physical source, you can contact either your subject liaison as well as the liaisons for Western history, government documents, or history of science. Some of these documents are already digitized and will be currently accessible. The liaisons for these departments can also help you understand what will be possible to digitize once our facilities reopen. So we've now talked about common places to find spatial data, as well as today resources for finding and making your own data sets. Up next, in the last video in the spatial data series, we're going to talk about where to find resources on using the data, which will be especially designed for people who are just starting out with spatial data or are looking for, to learn more in various tutorials and online resources. Don't forget, on June 9th from 3 to 4.30 p.m., we're going to have a live Q&A on Twitter. Digital Scholarship Specialist Theo Acker, Head of Digital Scholarship Tara Carlisle, Science Librarian Brent Tweedy, and I will be answering spatial data questions live on Twitter during this time period. No registration is required, but you can go to libraries.ou.edu slash events for more information. All of the videos in this series will be announced on Twitter as they are posted, as well as the video set will be announced in the Davis listserv, which you can subscribe to at libraries.ou.edu slash davis. You can view past videos in this series at bit.ly slash OUSTEMYT. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for joining us, and stay safe out there.